everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're having trouble running the Black Myth Wukong on Steam and it keeps closing to a black screen, here's a solution that worked for me and might work for you. First, right click on the benchmark tool in your Steam library and select Properties. In the General tab, find the Launch Options box, then enter the command negative DX11. Make sure to type it exactly as shown including the hyphen and no spaces. Click OK to apply to changes. Then launch the benchmark tool. It should run properly, but note that during the first benchmark, you might see large black boxes and lines on the screen. Once the benchmark completes, close the tool and go back to the launch options in properties. Remove the negative DX11 parameter and click OK to save the changes. Launch the benchmark tool again. It should run smoothly this time, without the block boxes and you should see improved frame rates. If first solution doesn't work, try these steps. First, go to Black Myth Wukong in Steam and click the settings cogwheel. Select properties, then go to installed files and click browse. In File Explorer, Locate the executable file. It might be named something like B1 and have the, name, have the game's logo. Right-click the executable file, then select Properties and go to the Compatibility tab. Check the following options. Disable full screen optimizations, then run this program as an administrator. Optionally, you can also run the game in compatibility mode when launching on Steam and or try clicking Alt-Tab when the game is trying to launch. Verify the integrity of game files. Right-click on Black Myth Wukong in Steam, select Priorities, then click on Install Files and choose Verify Integrity of Game Files. This process might trigger a patch update. Let the verification complete and hopefully the game will be good to go. That's how I got my Black Myth Wukong benchmark tool working again. I hope one of these solutions helped you out. Let me know your thoughts and experiences with the benchmark in the comments below. Thank you for watching.